Okay, three, two. Hi, here we are at Karen's Kitchen again today. I'm really excited because we've come up with a specific idea for you. What we're going to do incorporated uh, with our little 30 day uh, green cleanse we're doing, we're going to be making everything that we do for my detox class, all the things that we have to make. So we're going to have a specific section that you can just go to for the detox and everything that we talk about making in the Soak Your Nuts book, we are going to make a YouTube video for you. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm even more excited because I'm going to ask for your help and your input in these YouTubes. So I'm going to have a little online um, contest where uh, we'll, or we'll do it through the class. The class is starting very soon and I will, uh, different people will win a chance to come in Karen's kitchen with me and help me make our food and drinks that we'll be using during the 30-day cleanse. So today we're going to be making Rejuvelac. I know all of you in the book around the country and around the world have been emailing me and trying to get Rejuvelac and it's not out there right now. We are working on getting it across globally, but until that happens, you need to make it in your kitchen even when we have it out globally guess what you need to make it for you it's so self-empowering to know how to make all of your own food and be so self-sufficient in your own kitchen and it's probably one of the easiest things that we do here at Karen's Fresh Corner it's not my recipe I learned it from Dr. Ann Wigmore she started us all on it and it is a phenomenal drink it's made from sprouted spring wheat berries, but you could make it from other berries. You could make it from rye berries. You could make it from quinoa berries because a uh, seed. Because a lot of people are a little terrified these days of wheat, but from my understanding from Dr. Wigmore, it's only the processed wheat that we really have a problem with, the gluten in the processed wheat. The sprouted wheat, even my celiac clients have been able to tolerate it just fine, but you know, I don't want you to take your cleansing anywhere that you're not comfortable, so you can use the same process with other seeds. You don't have to use wheat berry. We just use it because we love the taste and I've been doing it for years this way, but remember, tailor it to you. Um, we sell it by the gallon here at Karen's, and it's a little difficult to ship around the country by the gallon, but like I said, we're working on a process. We're going to be able to get it out to you globally soon. But in the meantime, we also sell the sprouted wheat berries, so you can save yourself a step if you don't want to actually do the sprouting yourself. Uh, we can ship these around the country, um, so if you want to buy the wheat berries already sprouted, this is the route to go. But until we get to that point, oh, I should write, if I'm going to be walking over here, we've got a special person here. Victoria won the day because she was in the restaurant shopping. That's how scientific we are about this right away. But Victoria, come on out, Victoria. She was in the uh, restaurant shopping today, and I just walked out and I said, who wants to go on camera with me? And Victoria said, I do. She had the time. Uh, you recently got back from the Optimal Health Institute, yes. right, Victoria? And that's one of the places that I went. I went to Optimal Health Institute twice a year for about 15 years. When it first got started with Rachel Solomon and Dr. Wigmore was still involved with it. And it's a wonderful place to go. Uh, I'd love for you to do detoxing in my book, but there are places all around the country you should give yourself a vacation and go away to. So Victoria is going to assist me as you can if we figure out the contest. Maybe you can give me some ideas here too. Remember this whole process is evolving for us. And I really appreciate your feedback and your clicks. You have been really moving the numbers up for us very quickly. So we're going to make Rejuvelate. It's made with sprouted spring wheat berries, and the beauty of wheat berries, you can keep them stored forever. They actually found wheat berries in Tutankhamun's pyramid, and guess what? They still sprout it. Yeah, that's how strong and hardy a seed it is. So they're hard, totally inedible like this, but you can buy them, you can store them in glass jars in your refrigerator, and have some protein and B vitamins for yourself forever. So we're going to start with sprouted spring wheat berries. Now we use hard red winter wheat berries to make wheatgrass. This is for the Rejuvelac. So uh, we're going to show you the different stages, even though through the magic of TVB, we're going to speed it all up and have an end product at the end. Uh, have you made uh, Rejuvelac before, Victoria? No, I haven't. So this will be very good to add on to what you did at the Optimal Health Institute. Absolutely. I mean, of course, you can come and buy it from me, but guess what? You'll make it in your own kitchen. We're going to use uh, Vitamix once again, my favorite um, machine in my kitchen. But before we get to that, 
If you're not buying the sprouted wheat berries from me, let's go through a very quick, simple sprouting lesson. So let's take some of the hard red winter wheat berries. And remember, whenever you sprout, you double the size. So you're going to put in, if we put in two cups, we're going to end up with four cups. All right, so let's just do one cup. Okay. Oh, let's do two cups, why not? <laughs> let's splurge. And uh, I love these mason jars that you can buy at Ace Hardware. That's what we have in Chicago, Ace Hardware. But any hardware store, you can buy these mason uh, glass jars. And they're great for storing your seed, for storing the sprouts after they're made, and for doing your sprouting. I know there are all these fancy sprouters out there. But um, I just use these mason jars. And then we're going to cover it with purified water. And we're going to let it sit out overnight, all right? Uh, I know there are all kinds of sprouting charts out there, uh, but you really don't, let, you're gonna need to fill it to the top because what's gonna happen is the seeds are going to expand. You're gonna start out with two cups, and you're going to end up with four cups. So it will expand for you, all right? So we're gonna take this and we're going to let it sit overnight on your counter. All right, and what I like to do is I like to buy these nylon screens. Uh, you can get it for about 24 cents a yard, once again, at your health food store, a uh, hardware store. And I'm going to make a sprouter by putting the screen and a rubber band around it. And there, I just made a fancy sprouting jar that I'm going to be able to use this jar for so many other uses, okay? So that's real simple. Now, we're going to take... This is after a day. So what you would do after the first day, we'll pretend this has been sitting overnight, is we pour the water out. You want to pour that out sure. for me real quick, Victoria? There's a sink right over here. I've got all the stages here, so you can see the final product. 